Hi there, my name is Ken Mercer. Today I'm going to show you how to play Apache of the Shadows. Okay, let's get started and learn Apache. We're going to start on the G string with the middle finger on the uh, second fret. Moving to the B string with the index finger on the first fret. The ring finger on the B string at the third fret. And then we're going to bend a half tone up and back down again. So we've got and then the next part same again except we go to the high E string and slide from the third to the fifth with the, with the uh, little finger middle finger back on the third uh, the third fret and then an open uh, high E string. So we've got all together. And then you repeat that once. That's the introduction of the song. Okay, so now we're going to cover the verse. I'll play it through for you. covering um, the middle two strings, uh, the D and the G string on the second fret and I'm playing the, the, uh, the D string, the G string, D string, G string and then the f putting my uh, ring finger on the fourth fret of the D string, uh, index finger down to the second of, of the uh, D string, open D string, and second fret um, on the D string again. So we play it through one more time. And the next part goes. And that's played with the second, uh, the index finger on the second fret of the G string. Middle finger on the uh, third fret of the B string. So we got, and then we've got the ring finger on the fourth um, fret of the G string. Back down to the second open string, and uh, finishing up on the second fret with the index finger. So one more time. Right, now we come up to the uh, the most challenging part of the song. Um, basically, this is this is uh, played in F, but we're only going to be putting uh, just the two uh, two fingers here on the third the um, the third fret, um, using the ring finger and the little finger on the third fret of the um, A and the D string. Okay, and what we're doing is we're going to hit the uh, A string. So we're going to hit the A string and then the D string. So we're going down, down, up, down, up, down, up. And at the same time, you want to get the palm of your hand and just do a mute there. That's just by resting your hand against the, uh, the saddle. So the palm of your hand is just touching the strings, and it gives it sort of deadens the uh, the effect of the strings rather than letting them bring up fully. So we just want to play that. Okay. So that might take a little practice for some people. Uh, some of you may get it straight away. Um, it's just, if you're having trouble with it, do it very, very slowly and gradually build it up. Just play really slowly. Okay? Until it sounds like... Next part goes like this. 
Okay, so we're playing the uh, starting on the the, uh, the D string with the uh, ring finger on the third fret, and then we're going to the G string with the um, middle finger on the second fret, and lastly the index finger on the first fret of the B string. Okay, then we take the index finger off and play an open string on the B. Index finger back down again on the first, up to the third with the ring finger, and an open string on the high E. Then we're playing the uh, the B string on the third fret. It's always harder to play things slower. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, here we go. So it's. Okay, one more time. In the next part, you repeat it again, you go. Right, so that part there, you're just playing again. Those three notes, open B. Just like we learned before. Open G string and then we're sliding the third to the fifth on the B string. And then using the tremolo right at the end there just to... I'll play that through very slowly again. So we're going... Then we play through another verse, uh, only this time we're using again the, uh, the palm mute effect. So you're just placing again the side of your hand against the uh, strings next to the, the, the bridge. And then you're just going to do the verse again, only this time you're going to sort of do a double sort of uh, strike with the plectrum. So you're going... Okay, it's so just like we did before. Except we're just we're just giving it that extra little bit. Okay, you need to do that twice. And then we're playing the uh, the rest of the verse the same way, always with the palm mute. straight A minor chord with a little bit of tremolo and then back into the uh, the part we did before there's a variation coming up which I'll show you now before we did the but now we're going to do So it's just like we did before, we're playing the same. Well, there's an open G there, and then a little bit of a palm mute. Okay, with the first, the first uh, um, index finger, sorry, on the uh, first fret. And then we go back again and do the... Uh, gallop. Okay lastly to uh, finish up this song we're just going to be playing on the uh, the bottom E string and you start with your index finger on the first fret that's the F note and you're just playing this <laughs> So that's going from the first fret 
to the 5th fret, to the 8th fret, to the 13th fret, and down to the 12th fret. So it's... And then we do the outro, which is... finish with an A minor chord. A little bit of tremolo and there you have Apache. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. I uh, hope um, I've explained the song uh, reasonably well enough for, for people to understand. Uh, I did rush it um, because I don't have a lot of time and uh, I wanted to get another tutorial video out because it's been a while since my last one. Um, I'm very pleased with uh, the response of a uh, couple of uh, videos that I've put out already, particularly uh, Riders in the Sky tutorial. Uh, thank you very much everybody that's been watching and commenting. It's, uh, it's been very encouraging to get some feedback and uh, know that there are people uh, benefiting from my lessons out there. So um, I hope you enjoyed this one and um, I wish you all the best with your guitar playing. Thank you for watching uh, Ken Mercer Music and uh, see you again in the next tutorial.